Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is a spontaneous video. I'm actually currently working on a reading for a client, which you can't tell, but all of her cards are here. But as I was receiving this message and downloading this message for her, I actually felt a really strong need and desire to share it with you guys, my tribe, really quickly. And it's truly about um, our sense of purpose and this direction when we are walking along our life path and we just don't know where to go, what to do, what our life purpose is, what we're gonna be doing with it. And I can sense the level of anxiety, the level of pressure that it is that we put on ourselves. Um, this is something that I've actually experienced within my life and I feel like a lot of us, the majority of us, 99.9% .9 of us can relate to that sense of, okay, what do I do? What am I here for? Why, like, how do I find that out? And what do I need to, you know, it's like this energy of scrambling together in order to put all the pieces together in order to take that first step. Meanwhile, I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but, or noticed this, but while you're in that sense of feeling this, uh, I don't even wanna call it desire, but this anxiety, this angst to find out what, you know, is the next steps and what your life is going to look like. There's also this sense of exhaustion. There's this sense of being mentally just, I can't do it. I feel burnt out. I feel, you know, like all I want to do is just sleep, you know, for, for as long as I can. I just want this time in my life to kind of, I want to just rest. I want to sleep. And then I want to wake up years later and I want to have all the answers. And there's a reason why that is when we Number one, I, I need to tell you that it's really important that you realize that some of the most major answers to the questions that is that you are going to ask in your life are not going to come from you pushing and punching out into the universe in order to receive them. They are going to come to you like a butterfly flying in the garden. It just comes in while you're resting, while you're there for pleasure and joy, and it's going to rest on the tip of your nose. And the way to do that and, and the way to receive that information, that answer as far as your purpose, your destiny, why you're here on earth and what you're meant to do and what you're called to do is not by punching out and lashing out and attacking that question, attacking that in order to rip apart to, the, to get to the meat of the answer, but to really allow yourself to step into some yin energy and allow yourself to receive. The reason why this is, is because some of your most major questions are things that they, I don't know why the word is portal. You have to access the portal. You have to access the, the door, the gateway to where that answer lies and is being guarded. And for so many of us, it's embedded in our hearts and it's embedded in our intuition that only our higher self will be able to access. Yang energy is all about, you know, direction and knowing what you've received after you've ent ex exited out of feminine energy, passive energy, yin energy. So yang takes what yin discovers and then takes with it and rolls with it. But you still have to have balance within your life. And there are moments when, before you step into masculine energy, and it doesn't matter if you're a feminine, um, a woman, a male or a female or whatever you identify as, you know, a combination of the both or neither of them, which are, all of them are equally beautiful. It doesn't matter how you identify your predominant energy to look like. You still, all of us need to, regardless of our sex, regardless of our gender, we need to learn how to work with the balance of masculine and feminine energy. So that side of you, when you are trying to find your purpose and it's so, it's giving you so much ang anxiety and push, that push that you feel, it's like, it's an itch. It's almost irritating you. That number one, it's there for a reason because that is the time of your life for you to start asking that question. Nothing is a coincidence. But when you step into that space, and it's really quickly, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say this because there's a lot of stuff that's coming through and I, this, video is not something that I predicted. It's something that I felt called to do as I'm doing this reading now. You guys can't see, but I have a lot of, a lot of cards um, spread out. But it doesn't come with a time frame or a time limit or an age limit. Time does not exist. Literally, all we have is now in the present. So this can happen at any point in our life when the time is right and when the signal has been triggered. That's when we start asking those questions and sometimes they come 
come through really aggressively because the, the answer it has so much depth and importance. The level of importance and the magnitude of importance that it has in your life is so high. But knowing that that energy and that the magnitude of the energy that that um, answer will hold for your life when it comes to giving you meaning and purpose and direction, that does not give you permission and that is not an invitation from the universe, from your guides, from your angels, for you to then put all this pressure on yourself because you feel the pressure, the intensity, the level of intensity of the weight of the answer that will come to you. So what you actually want to do is you want to work with this. The reason why we feel so exhausted is because your energy, your spirit guides, the universe itself, the cosmos, everything is aligning you to enter into a space of submission that's why you are tired that's why you're complaining of exhaustion that's why you're you know you feel like you want to sleep for for years so that you can finally come to the answer because that's essentially what it might look like you might and maybe maybe not for the majority of us is it, it's not going to actually be sleep but there is a level of rest recuperation regeneration and receiving that you need to step into so that you can actually allow that butterfly of information that's hidden behind that gate or embedded within your heart and your subconscious is going to help you to find it or your your higher self is going to help you to find those answers you have to allow them to come to you you cannot do that if you are out there swatting with a, a net trying to catch that butterfly the butterfly is something that you sit in, in the garden of your life, you give yourself that space, that time, and you allow it to float to you. You allow it to be attracted to you. You allow the scent of it to linger, the nectar of it to you know, be fruitful and fragrant. That way that answer will come in. Now that's just a metaphor, but essentially what's gonna happen is the more time that you spend in yin energy, passive energy, feminine energy, which is quiet, which is receiving, which is not striving, it's allowing, it's flowing, that is not only you flowing with the universe, it's you flowing with your intuition, it's you flowing with time, working with time, not against it. Again, some of you guys are trying to rip through and try to dissect and pull apart in order to get to the root of answers that are not gonna be found in that way. The more that you do that, the more you're gonna exhaust yourself, the more the imbalance is going to be made more extreme, the more that the gap is gonna be widened. You want to step into a space where you are allowing yourself to rest, where you are nourishing yourself, where you are allowing yourself to sleep, um, to dream, to channel, to pray, to set intention, to allow, to float, go to the river, go to the ocean, go into the mountains, take your time in your work. Make sure that for a lot of you guys, you're gonna have to balance, emphasis on the word balance, you're gonna have to learn how to balance your work, your root chakra work, so how you're paying your bills currently, with you on, on the flip side, you going home and you balancing your spiritual self, going, allowing your time to decompress from the work, this, the, the energy of what your, you know, your um, root chakra paying your bills job delivers to you. Um, allowing yourself to decompress from that and then then you step into your sacred space once you are relaxed You go into your meditation you go into your journal you do not in those moments You don't keep calling out to the universe being like why 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 what 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 where 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 when 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 how 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 you don't go out and you don't um Pull at the universe. You don't rip at the universe in that way. You don't rip at your higher self. You don't rip at the gardens and the gate of your higher self, your your portal, your heart. You don't rip at that. That's dangerous. That doesn't even make sense. You allow yourself to be called and guided step by step. The other thing is, is that so many of you guys think that I don't know where this mindset came from. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like so many of us, we think that success looks like one way. The reality is, is that success for many of you guys is actually not one way and if you did get the one way the one path you would be so disappointed and frustrated and bored with it so many of you guys have different purposes you're not you don't just have one meaning in your life you have so many layers you're multi-layered so your purpose is not going to come through just this one thing it's going to be this passion here this pro project here this thing here all of those things your greatest purpose i don't want you guys to equate you know, your purpose coming from you being financially supported by this one thing. 
many of you are gonna have multiple streams of income coming through that are gonna support the things that it is that you love the most. This is such a blessing because it's gonna add different dimensions and dynamics to the, the spiciness of your life, the beauty of your life, the magic, the uniqueness of your life. So why would you, in your brain, why would you expect that your purpose, your destiny is gonna be one thing and that one thing is gonna pay everything? The reality is, is that so many of you guys are gonna be getting life spiced up by different stuff, by different jobs, by different resources, by different purposes, by different things that it is that you do. Um, some of you guys are called to help, you know, so you might do nonprofit work, you might do um, help people who are less than you and you receive one income from that. Other Then you have, you know, an artistic expression about you and you create on your free time, on your weekends, then uh, then you you know you do hair or you babysit children because these are things that it is that you love and they add meaning and depth to your life. Why are you going to negate that? Because it's not all of the source isn't coming from one source. The reality is is that you have so many several different things, three different things, five different things that are pouring into you. Not only abundance, but joy, pleasure, fertility, creativity, inspiration, giving you purpose and meaning and depth in a different dynamic into your life that is not a failure that is a, su a success do not limit your brain into thinking that it's only going to be one way or no way the other thing that i want to talk to you guys about is hardship there are there's a lot of of um this misconce misconception or misinterpretation of me living my purpose it's going to be easy and effortless the reality is is that the hardship is what gives it even more meaning to it, more purpose, more reward, because you, it's not, it's a challenge. You know what I mean? It's not so easy all the time. That's why we have yin and yang energy. That's why we have feminine and masculine. That's why we have black and white, you know, light and shadow, because all of these different dynamics, the easy and the hard, they come together to make it worth it. They make it beautiful. They make it abundant. So, if you're expecting your purpose to be this easy, effortless, you know, unfolding of things, that's only 50% of the journey. And sometimes, you know, that 50% is gonna look like 48 or 36% or 25% or 78 or 98%. So the dynamic of that even changes, but eventually all of it always is going to work to balance itself out because that's how the laws of the universe, that's how the universe works, that's how spirituality, the dynamic of energy works, okay? So, and it, look into anything, you guys. You know, what I'm saying here is not, not known. It's, it's written in script. It's the, the elders have passed this information on to us. The ascended masters pass this information on to us. This dynamic, it all looks the same. It's just translated in different languages so that it can be something that we can recognize and we can see and we can relate to it. That's another topic of a conversation when we talk about religion where all of it is essentially the same. It's just what is the best way that... You know, you know, for people to receive it, to bring us all back to the same source. That's the same thing that is happening with your purpose and your destiny, and it all looks the same. There's a lot of aggression, irritation that is experienced, and on the flip side of that, because that's the yang side of things, the flip side of that is the yin, which is, it's very exhausted, it's very tired. So you have to work with both aspects of that, and it's not gonna always be easy. It's going to be effortless in the sense that, okay, this is an effortless decision for me to make. I would not do anything other than this because I feel so called to it, I feel so drawn to it. But effortless does not mean that there isn't gonna be a healthy level of work or focus or clarity or direction or boundaries that you need to incorporate or routine, structure, commitment, things that you need to put in place so that there is this balance so that there will be growth. And I needed you guys to hear that. So I hope that that makes sense. I am, I'm running behind on my readings today, but there's a lot of messages that's been coming through. I haven't given anybody less than what it is that they needed to receive. So some of these readings have been run over longer and this one I needed to share with you guys. I hope that you are well. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. There's a lot of changes going on in my personal life. You'll see them coming up in the week to come. So I hope that you are well. Send me blessings and good goodness and good energy. Yin and yang, we're working together. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.